the best word for the future itself could be uncertainty. Look in my eyes and you know I'm about the truth Always knew about my passions and the things I'm gonna pursue My only purpose is to be a shining light Spark the flame real bright, watch me blaze up the night Check my watch and I'm on borrowed time Feeling gratitude that I'm blessed by design Three little birds and they singing God's grace Love the life that I live, elevate my mental state My childhood dream was uh to be an actress. <laughs> my childhood dream. Uh, my well, I start at first. I wanted to be a, a an environmentalist, and I wanted to be like a a nature person. I would just kind of stay outside, and I would just observe animals, <laughs> and uh, all that good stuff. I I was exposed to music and band at a young age, and um. It was just something about the, there was a mystique about it that made me want to want to um, be a performer. And I saw the effect that it had on like my local community, my local culture. Everybody just it, it uplifted people, and I wanted to be a part of that solution to uplift people and make people happy by through my art form. When I was a kid, I played a lot of uh, classical piano. From my early teens, I actually got involved uh, more into sports. I tried out for my high school football team. And then from uh, high school uh, and going into college, college I played lacrosse for four seasons. And my uh, senior year, I was actually captain and most valuable player. So it was nice to be voted uh, that by my teammates. So even though my childhood dream didn't pan out, long term it gave me a lot of pleasure back in those days and uh, i'm glad i had it my dream evolved to how it is now uh, through being lucky enough to have some really great mentors and music teachers through the years they showed me how to be uh, uh, what to aspire to be in terms of becoming a great musician. They showed me um, that to to judge somebody off the content of their character before you judge them off of the color of their skin. And then my mom was an opera singer. My father was a jazz saxophonist. Um, and so I was sort of indoctrinated into it. So it's kind of, it's just, I just never saw myself doing anything else aside from performing arts, acting, musician, uh, composer, like that's just what's kind of been my thing. By the time I was in my 20s, my dream was really to just like work and do the best I could. At first, it was kind of, if I found a good company to work for, I expected to be there my whole life. And now it's like I look at my uh, LinkedIn profile and I've been... Uh, working in dozens of jobs over my career. So my, my life dream from what it was back then and what it is now, I think it's like helping people make movies, you know, and uh, if it's casting or acting in something. The biggest problem was that I'm not like, I'm not, oh, I'm not courageous enough. Why yeah. do you think you're not courageous? You you came all the way here to a different country all alone to study and you're saying you're not courageous. Well, uh, I'm not because I care too much what my parents think, what they want, what how they feel about what I'm doing. And My father is a doctor, uh, my mother is a scientist. And, um, you know, you kind of can't escape, escape, escape from, you know, that. As an artist in, in my own personal mind and heart, um, my outlook, the outlook on my future, uh, I feel good about it because I understand the value of, of um, 
creating things that are authentic, that are really from my heart, and at the same time, um, speak to people, you know? Um, for my future, well, my future is probably much shorter than my past now, but I'm optimistic. I mean, my family's good. I got two daughters who are grown, middle-aged now, and uh, three grandsons, and, uh, you know, I've got a um, second marriage that's uh, well underway, 20, going on 25 years soon, so that'll be a big anniversary. And there's always things to celebrate. You just got to find them. Even though it was a childhood dream, it's still <laughs> here. Uh, but unfortunately, I have to go with. So that kind of makes it difficult to, <laughs> you know, be sure about what I'm doing, what I want to do, where I want to go. Who I want to be, uh, but I'm doing my best. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm working on myself. My whole uh, perception was much different before 2020. Well, now I I'm much better at uh, recording, mixing, and mastering my own music, and I'm much more. I'm much more independent now. Like, because I I, I've taken, I've had the time to get more uh, skills for um, being an independent artist. I I'm thinking of a quote from Victor Wooten, who's an amazing bass player, bass guitar player. And he said uh, that music is a wonderful place where many people get to visit, but few people get to stay. And I feel that way about all the arts. All the arts, I feel that way. The arts are a wonderful place where many people get to visit, few people get to stay. And in order to stay, you have to evolve and you have to um, continually uh, uh, redefine yourself and just just uh, check your intentions, you know, check your intent. Like, remember, like the real reason why you why you're doing it. It's interesting because, you know, I did a lot more theater uh, up to a couple of years ago. And now I think that it's actually changed my direction because of things like Zoom. You know, you see my face in a close-up, which was very rare before, maybe in like a student film. But now because it's been kind of opened up uh, even to other countries, I think it might actually be more optimistic for me, you know. And, and uh, getting older, you know, I, it's, it's more difficult to run across a whole stage at my age than it was a few years ago. I used to have a clear path in my mind, but it, it kind of like, <laughs> it's gone now, I have no idea. Why, what changed? I changed. <laughs> I mean, I, I've always been ahead of my time in my mind. Uh, even though I was little, I already had many plans and I was kind of acting like an adult and now that I have to actually act like an adult I can't do it properly if I passed away would I be happy well probably not at the moment but uh if I had to think about it if I had more than a, a second uh you know, I, I've actually had a lot of great uh, things happen to me in my life. I've gotten to experience firsthand music and art and uh, family. And I think even the bumps in the road, like a divorce or some jobs that didn't work out, have made me appreciate some of the great stuff I have uh, been able to experience. Maybe not, I guess. Why? Because <laughs> I'm a very curious person. I I always wonder what can happen. And 
I still haven't... I haven't done anything, honestly. Um, so, I'm curious. I, I wonder what's, what lies ahead, what's going to happen. If I was to pass away, I would... Okay, so I would be, I would be very sad uh, for, for two reasons, but because um, I enjoy my life with my wife. And I, uh, I have a baby due on July 2nd. And I want to be around for the kid, raise the kid. I'd be sad for those two reasons. Uh, but everything else, I feel, I feel very happy about a lot of the experiences I've had. I've got, gotten to do some really cool things and travel and perform and create and meet some cool folks and help, help people. Got an opportunity to help some folks uh, to the best of my ability and, um, and, and put out good energy. If I had the chance to live forever, I probably would not take it. I mean, um, I've talked with my wife about movies that have uh, been kind of amusing to watch. And I remember when my father passed away, my older daughter was about um, uh, nine when he passed away, and she asked me why people have to die. But uh, nature has to kind of clean out for new things. And it, it's really amazing to see uh, new people come into play, like my grandsons. Now that my daughters are getting middle-aged, they can kind of understand what I was going through back in those days. So, um, yeah, I'd have to say no. I'll just take this life as it is. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, oh, man. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd take that because I, I think we came from somewhere and we're going somewhere. And that's for sure. That's, that's the thing that's certain. And I think that um, the natural order of the universe is to go through the cycle, you know, go through the cycle. Um, it's scary because nobody knows what happens. To live forever might be kind of... <sighs> unpleasant at some point. Because I might lose everyone around me, but... If I live forever, I might start just doing the things that make me happy instead of things that make others happy. I feel like I'm leaving someone else's life <laughs> right now. <laughs> uh, And that person is so sad. <laughs> oh. As I say, I, I'm hoping. I, I'm not, I have not lost my hope. I'm still hoping, but... I do believe that... Things happen when... When... When the right time comes. So I'm waiting patiently and whenever the time comes and I'm ready, I'm going to try. Gonna... And maybe, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll be good at it, I don't know. <laughs> now that I think of it, it was Three years ago, it's it's been three years, and this was just imagination, honestly. And there you are. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I'm actually here. I guess some things just work out somehow, I don't know. Sometimes it isn't that bad to just listen to your heart and things might actually end up the way you want them to be. <laughs> I honestly, I didn't expect that it would.
I used to cry because I thought I would never come here. <laughs> People are gonna say I'm so dramatic, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. So how do you feel about the future? Definitely not ready. <laughs> I mean, who's ready? I'm not ready. Um, but I am... I am excited.